The first one was flawless, just so you know. Yeah. Yep. Everything is flawed. <laughs> oh, that was a warm up. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. There you go. All right. So it's now that we're streaming live. Yep. And there we are. Welcome, racers and fans, to the Racers News Network Live, presented by Straight Line Performance and Automotive and Scotty Wheels Racing. Your hosts, Chris and Pete, bring you the latest news and interviews in the world of sportsman drag racing, including bracket racing, association races, outlaw, and no time events. We are live every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take it away, boys. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to a special edition of Racers News Network Live. I am coming from the third level of hell, also known as Gorham, New Hampshire, at the only hotel that does not have air-conditioned rooms. I've been to two events in this town twice now, and I've made bad decisions on motels full time. So I think somebody's trying to tell me something. We are, we're actually up here, me and my son, um, for the climb to the clouds. He wants to meet Travis Pastrana again, but he really wants to see the Hoonigan car that uh, Travis used in the last video. Um, so we're up here for the night. We're going to go watch some hill climb racing tomorrow morning um, on the auto road in Mount Washington. And we're also going to talk some junior dragster stuff. The, this past weekend um, at Lebanon Valley was the Northeast Division NHRA Junior Drag Racing League uh, Championships, and we have a bunch of people joining us. Uh, we got the big boss is actually just connecting right now. You see that, Pete? The big man. I see that. Oh, the big man's gone. He got bumped by Jenna. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> So again, we're kind of just waiting for everybody to join in, and uh, we're going to have a little fun talking junior drag racing. Of course, my partner in crime, Pete Sanka, he's in his lovely air-conditioned home. Lucky guy. You wouldn't have said that if you were at the shop with me a couple hours ago. I'm pretty sure where I am right now and where your shop is is close to the same. All right. Oh, there he goes. Take two. All right, Jenna, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but hit the unmute yourself, bottom left. No, I'm judging by the laughing on her face. She can't. Oh, there we go. We have, we have the, uh, hello. We have everybody coming in now. Jenna, could you hear us? Nope. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Good Wayne, afternoon. I can hear you. This is the best you've ever looked, Wayne. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. <laughs> like looking in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> your your screen is black. Do you have a yeah, video? I don't know you why. I gotta find out why. Right. Let me see if I get the the kid back here to figure it out. Yeah, your tech job. expert. <laughs> I have a kid go over to Jenna's house too because she can't hear us. My screen is black. You got to figure out why, bud. Come around. <clears throat> All right. Young man, Mr. Moser, can you just unmute yourself, the bottom left? Jenna, are you all set? There's Jerron. Oh, look at Hey, Jerron. Oh, look yeah, at the background. Me. Bottom left, Jaron. Bottom left. You're muted. Bottom left. You're muted, knucklehead. Oh, look at the background. All right. Bottom left, Jaron. Bottom left. You're muted. There we go. All right. So, there. I'm, there late. I'm late because I was working on my background. There you go. That did you works. airbrush that onto the wall in your office? Yeah, pretty much what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth, Jerome. Right. That's a wrap, isn't it? There's Wayne. It's a wrap. Uh, there we go. Thanks, Mitch. You can stay up late tonight now. <laughs> so I don't I don't know if you guys ever met, but Jerron, uh, this is Wayne Del Monte. He actually runs Lev Cool. Jerron, nice to meet you. 
Same here. The pleasure is all mine. I have always wanted to go there, but I haven't had the chance to go yet. But I'm I'm gonna go. All right. <laughs> well, all right, Pete. Pete. Some stripes on the jet dryer or something would keep you busy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Add that to my list of tracks I've been to. There you go. All right, Pete, go ahead. So Wayne, uh, how did it go this weekend? Uh, it, it was a real good weekend. Obviously, this is our first time ever hosting the, you know, junior dragster divisional. Uh, yeah. It was a good uh, three days. Uh, I think there was plenty of racing for all the kids. The weather was perfect. Yes. Uh, the event went pretty much smoothly as, you know, as we had hoped. Awesome. And, uh, we were able to get finished up by, I believe, Saturday by 3.30. We were done. So uh, that was definitely uh, one of the struggles that you have definitely had this year was weather cooperating. So it's nice that uh, looks like you finally had a couple of decent weekends in a row. Yeah. Knock on wood. I mean, uh, there was almost no rain in the forecast and uh, we got lucky. I mean, and that's the key to people traveling, you know, to an event that far away is they sure. want to get there and they want to race for a couple of days. They don't want to be sitting in the rain, which will deter some right. people from making the trip. Yep. Yep. No doubt. What uh, do you have a car count for the weekend? 118 cars. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. Now, um, Chris and I were talking before we went live. Does this, have something to do with the bracket finals? Like, is this a, a portion of the bracket finals that's uh, separate, but is that the reason why you had it this year? Does it follow the same track? No, it doesn't follow the same suit. Uh, actually, okay. we weren't even supposed to have the bracket finals this year. Uh, when oh, no, everything okay. that happened down to ACO in New Jersey, okay. they backed out of it. Gotcha. And then uh, I believe Maple Grove was next in line and they chose not to take it because I think they might have a, uh, a big event that weekend. So Dave yep. called me and says, Hey, we'll bring it back there if you want it. He goes, You're my last option, pretty much. I said, Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, th nice to be last option, but yeah, yeah, but you know, you're not. I get it. It's, it's rotation. And you know what? And and that's one of the things that came up probably about six years, oh, maybe seven years ago in the meeting at NHRA when, you know, every year it was voted on where you're going to bring the bracket finals. And I finally spoke up. I said, Enough of the voting. If a track can host it, why not give them the opportunity? Yeah, you know? right. And that's when we discussed, we went to rotation and, you know, anybody who wanted to get into rotation that was big enough to hold the, the race was able to do it without right. it going to a popular vote or anything. Nice. Very, very nice. So Wayne, um, just, I, I, go ahead. Uh, just out of curiosity. Now it doesn't come up into my neck of woods at all. Does it up into New Hampshire? No. Uh, you know, New Hampshire's never, put in for it that I know of. And, you know, it, it's tough. I mean, it, like you said, it's that neck of the woods. Uh, right. We've heard from many Southern tracks when, when Lebanon, the first year Lebanon Valley got the, you know, the opportunity to do it. We heard from other tracks, oh, you know, you're ruining my program. My racers ain't going to travel all the way past that borderline, which I don't know where the borderline, New Jersey or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and, and, you know, and you see a lot of Southern tracks, I mean, their counts are a lot less, but you look at the bracket finals where years ago when it was down in Del Mar or Cecil County, you know, Canada never went down there. Right. You know? And now we can almost feel the full team from Canada almost if the borders ever open. Right. Uh, New England Dragway never brought really a full team that far down South. And now they're bringing extra people to fill the spots. So, you know, it kind of balances out. Is New York a little bit on the upper side of Division One for number of tracks? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, well, but, you know, for, geographically, you're never going to please everybody. So it's just. Oh, God, no, no. You know, I, I, I people think, say to me all the time, you know, you know, what do you do when someone gets upset? I said, you know what? If I had two racers upset on the weekend and I had 300 cars there, that's like a 99.9. That's a home run. I did pretty good. Good job. If, exactly. if you yeah. were a baseball player, you'd be worth millions. Don't worry about exactly. it. Exactly. Well, <laughs> well you someday know, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> well, you know, I think you're in a, I, I think you're in a good position that, you know, you can flip it and say, well, they saved the best for last being that, you know, you, you weren't the first choice, but now you can, you know, pretty really do a good job and put on a good show and, and, and people want to want to come back to your place. Yeah. You know, even, you know, you talk like a track like Cecil County, who really doesn't send many guys up to the bracket finals. They, they you normally don't send a full team when they come up to Lebanon Valley. 
uh, they had a strong junior program come to us this past weekend. And I was shocked actually, where some of the other local tracks by us within a four or five hour radius, uh, one track sent zero and one only sent two, which was very shocked about that, right. to be honest with you. Memorial. So Wayne, um, another thing that Chris and I didn't realize is that in the junior dragster show that you had, you also have door cars there. So explain to me what door cars competed. So division one, uh, did away with the high school eliminator that they used to run at the bracket finals. Okay. It limited the number of competitors and tracks, you know, you look at Lebanon Valley, for example, in the high school ranks in the past year since I've been there, you know, you're lucky to get four kids compete throughout the year for high school. Yep. Now that they open up to junior street, which is from 14 to 16 in a full size car, just like high school was with a parent with them. Yep. Now you don't have to be licensed. We're in high school. You had to be licensed. So our program more than doubled by doing junior street. And it was, you know, uh, the race of champions was not held with the junior dragster divisional. It was just a junior street race. Yep. And the race of champions will be held at Lebanon Valley during the bracket finals on Saturday for junior street. Excellent. You know, that's been, that's been one of my questions. You see NHRA push the junior street program at the national events, but I haven't talked to any track operators. How, how has that helped or hindered or, you know, what, what do you see out of that, that program? You know, it's, it's, it's definitely, like I said, it doubled in size for us. And I think a lot of our tracks really helped them. You, you just open up that age group uh, to come in more to, to race. Uh, I was, I got to be honest with you. I wasn't a big fan that NHRA announced that program. I'm thinking to myself, man, I'm not putting my 14 year old kid behind it. Well, I know how my kid is and I'm not going to get in a car with him. No way. Uh, and it, you know, and you know, it, it's, it's gotta be tough, but you see the kids that are getting into it and it's not just kids that are already in racing as far as some of the junior dragster kids, there's kids coming to the track now that their parents don't even race. Right. And they're getting in this program. So it's, it's kind of, it's, it's expanding the horizons for future drag racers. <laughs> well, that's good to know then. Yeah. That's, I mean, cause that's, that's what we need, you know, is, is new people, you know, so that's, that's, that's good. That's, that's definitely good to hear. I'll, I'll uh, uh, use that in, in the future. Yep. Excellent. So uh, we're waiting for Chris. I know he's sharing this to try and get more people involved, uh, but we'd like to do some race results. Uh, and he just gave me the, the one minute sign. Um, Jenna, can you hear us by any chance? Uh, she was having trouble hearing us. Um, how about uh, Dayton? Could you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay. What, uh, so what did you yeah, do this I weekend? Can hear you. Oh, you can hear us too. Dynamite. Uh, Dayton, what class do you run in? How old are you? I'm 13 and I do junior drags. Excellent. And how did you do in competition this weekend? Um, I made it to the semifinals. Awesome. Awesome. Now, you guys had a couple of races to compete in, right? Did you have a, like a, a gambler's race or king of the hill or something? We had the gambler's and, race. And then the main event, right? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Jenna, how about you? Uh, how old? What do you drive? And how did you do? I think she's she's listening on her phone. So she's, yeah, she's a little bit of a delay. I'm 14. Yeah. I drive a junior dragster. Excellent. How did you do this weekend? I lost second round in the main event, and that's basically it. Okay. <laughs> as long as you had a good time, that's what's important. Yeah, for sure. Without a doubt. So, Chris, All you right. got some race results for us? Yes, I do. The final results from the 2021 Northeast Division NHRA Junior Drag Racing League Division Championships held at Lebanon Valley Dragway, hosted by the man, the myth, the legend, Wayne Del Monte. <laughs> He always says that about me, Wayne. Now I feel like I'm not nearly as important. <laughs> You're not, Pete. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, well. The truth uh, hurts sometimes. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to start off with the race of champions. Justin Handwork defeated Jenna Nichols. 
And let's we're gonna go right to the six to nine year old class. Mallory Dietz defeated Logan Horton. Wayne, if I pronounce any of these names wrong, please feel free to jump in. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna be much help to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, 10 to 12 year old Morgan Hart defeated Nolan Thomas. 13 to 14, Chris Corey from New England Dragway defeated Gavin Roth. 15 to 17 year old, Kaylee Ginaldo defeated Eric Bowles. Uh, Junior Street, door car class, to serve with those who don't know, now know. Uh, Jaina Embley defeated Gianni Melendi. Uh, best appearing car. Cody coming and Wayne, I'm assuming that the best appearing and the best engineered are both juniors. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, again, best appearing car, <clears throat> Cody coming and then best engineered car, Tyler Bolio. Junior street consolation race, Alex Erickson defeated Zachary Strobel. Junior dragster consolation race, Nathan Mendenhall defeated Harley Parson, and I'm going to go right to the gambler race for Friday. Uh, six to 12 year old Gavin Hill defeated Maddie Torchia. 13 to 17, again, Kyle Ginaldo defeated Danielle Tacconi. Junior Street, Gianni Melendi defeated Alex Erickson. And then let's wrap it up with Thursday gambler race. Six to 12 year old Emily Stalba defeated Albert, sorry, waiting for the motorcycle to go by. Uh, Albert Gu Guvia, maybe, hopefully, possibly. Uh, 13 to 17 year old, Zachary McCormick defeated Justin Handwork. Junior Street, Gianni Melendi defeated Jaina Embley. 330 Outlaw, Francis Bignola defeated Aiden Baker. That is your results from Lebanon Valley Junior Dragster. So, Wayne, what's 330 Outlaw? Obviously, so, 330. That was a class that Mike Zabella really wanted to do this year. And uh, basically what it was is uh, they raced 330, 500 pro tree, first to the finish line. Wow. So, very interesting race. Uh, the finals, I, I don't know if Chris has the finals, what the, what the runs were. Uh, I believe it was a 42 light to a 45 light. And it was like a 451 to a 454. It was, wow. it was, it was just, it was like watching small tire like super, big tire. I mean, it's it like was, a it super was, street cool. race. <laughs> you know, like, cool. we, were, we were actually going to cancel the race because we got into, God, it was almost like quarter to nine on Thursday. And we're like, we were supposed to be shut down at like eight o'clock. We really? Get into turning the lights on and everything like that. And they came up, we're like, please, we, he had some people switch motors on cars just to run that race. I said, all right, guys, cool. off the trailer, Trainer. no time shot, first round, round <laughs> robin. And we did the race in like 40 minutes. And I think <laughs> I think there was like, oh, I'm going to say 14 kids, 15 kids in it. Wow, that's cool. So, so it was cool to watch that. And I think the yeah. kids really enjoyed that. You know, it's, it's good to dirty, see that. no lift, first to the finish. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good to see that that class come back. That was a class that, that was really popular in the early 2000s. And uh uh, one of my partners, both his kids ran it, and yeah, they were going 430s and 440s years ago, yeah. and I think it got really expensive. And uh, but it was it was like watching Junior Top Fuel there for a while. They would uh, like <laughs> so they, they would they would change motors and all just you know in between rounds because they were running them yeah. on the rack pitch. But Very uh, cool. glad it came back. Uh, Dayton, I have uh, a comment in the sections here uh, that says how proud everyone is of you that you made it to the quarterfinals. And what we didn't know was this is your first year competing in junior dragster. So uh, that's one heck of a job, buddy. Very good. Who, uh, who helps you out with your program? Um, my mom and my stepdad and all my uh, family members. Awesome. Awesome. You got any sponsors? Um, a couple, uh, pool and patio out of Connecticut. Wallingford. Um, uh, Baja MC, Flash Designs, and a couple more. Kids got more sponsors than I have. Hey, Dayton, <laughs> hey, hey, Dayton since you're kind of new to it, what, what's your favorite part about the actual run? Is it like the burnout? Is it going on the track? What do you, what do you like most about racing? 
down the track. The actual uh, speed? Yeah. How fast is your car? What, what do you run speed by? Uh, because it's my starting year, I'm only running a 1090 car. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with 1090. No, that's Pete. That's, that's Pete's favorite class. But <laughs> I, mean, I heard you. And how that. how old are you? Dayton, thirteen. Yeah. Good. So you got like four or five years before I got to worry about you racing against me. So I gotta say, when Dayton came and uh, and was licensed in the beginning of the year, uh, he was very impressive. I gotta say, for kids that start off in junior dragster programs. You know, you look, you look at them and they might struggle trying to do a burnout or stage a car. That kid came up and nailed it the first time up. I looked at, the, I looked at the, his father or grandfather. Is that your father or grandfather, Dayton? Oh, that's my stepdad. Okay. I looked at him and I said, that kid's going to be good. I mean, he just picked up on it from the first run down the track and was very impressive from the first day he went down that track. Definitely. So, so what you have to do from here on out is you have to start telling your mom and stepdad that you want to race super comp. Okay, super comp. No 1090 for you. <laughs> so for the, our, our two young guests that are joining us tonight, so most of you probably don't know who Jerron is. Jerron is known as a flying airbrush, and he's also a national level um, super comp racer. So oh, yeah. if, if any of you aspire to be a crew chief, he needs your help. I need I need some help for sure, <laughs> but it sounds, <laughs> sounds like Dayton had a pretty good weekend. You quarterfinal and semifinal, and uh, I heard you say earlier you semifinal. What, what race was the semifinal? Um, the, that wasn't the main event or the divisionals. I did that on the, on Sunday, so like a regular day. Well, that's cool though. That's excellent. I mean, that's, that's excellent. And did I, Chris, when you were re uh, reading results, I heard you mention Jenna's name. Yes, let me just back up to that. Game. Yeah, because, I mean, she's here. sitting there being all slick, saying she lost in second round, and that was it. But I heard your message, your name. I know. Danny, you can't be shy. You just got to jump right in. <laughs> I, I think Jenna is on the uh, European uh, delay, news time yeah. delay. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Jenna, Jenna, no, that was a different Jenna. Yeah, I think it was a different Jenna. Jenna Nichols. Yeah, I ended up runnering on Race of Champions. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. You runnered up in Race of Champions and you didn't yeah. mention that? She is a typical Nichols, right? She could leave the track with rings and jackets and trophies and she'd be like, yeah, I did all right. <laughs> <laughs> I did okay. <laughs> So runner-up race of champions. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done that. That's Jenna, pretty impressive. Jenna, Jenna, do you aspire to uh, move up and jump to a big car one day? He's on a computer, but listening on a phone, Jaron, just right. so you know. Yeah, I'm going to be in a uh, dragster, probably racing He's super pro. Oh, cool. Good. 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 We're Just gonna, stay out of the Mustangs in the Super Street. We don't need you in there. <laughs> her, her father, and both of her <laughs> brothers all dabble in Super Street. And oh, really? when I say, the the when I say dabble, I mean they all kind of take turns from year to year. Sure. Uh, the dabble isn't uh, like they just mess around with it. They usually like. All right, which one of us is going to win the championship this year? Sure, sure. Okay, pulled your name out of a hat. All right, you get in the car and go race. So no, is, this a, is this of the Nichols family, Pete, that has, has gotten some of my money this year? <laughs> your money, my money. I, I think I, we're five races in, and I want to say Sean won the number one qualifier three times out of five. It's wow. ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like I can't even win my own money when I go up there. It's painful. I knew I, I knew I heard that that Nichols name before, so now yeah. I'm putting more putting it together. I know who they are now. They are a bad bunch. Dad has won. Wayne, how many championships do you think Dad won? It's got to be seven, eight. I was going to say it's got to be at least half a dozen. I think in Super Street he's got like three, two or right. three. Uh, Street Eliminator, Pro, Super Pro. I mean, 
there, there's not a class that he probably hasn't won a championship at Lebanon Valley, except for motorcycles. So I actually have a great Grant Nichols story for you. Um, last year, when I had a problem with my car staging because the front was too low, and I would pull in and a light would go on, then I'd pull in a little more, it would go off, and it was just a disaster. Well, I raced him second round, and I got an LBA because the, the lights were all screwy. And he comes over to me, he goes, what happened? I'm like, this frigging car, it, this is the only place I have an issue with it staging. So he's sitting back and he goes, well, I think the front end is too low. It's like catching your front strut rod. He goes, I know how to tell. True story. Pulls his boot off and shoves it underneath the front of my car. He's like, yep, it's too <laughs> low. He said, if my boot can't clear it, you got to raise the front up. <laughs> so wow. I went home, screwed up the struts, put bigger tires on, and here I am. <laughs> yeah, we had a couple of junior dragsters struggling with staging cars this weekend, and they were doing the same thing. The nose cones were way too low, and they come up in the tower complaining, blaming, you know, the starting line, the system. Uh, you know, we do run a laser system at Lebanon Valley, and it's a very tight starting line. Uh, if you're not within that two inches or better, you're going to be tripping stuff. Right. And uh, there happened to be a parent, and I once I explained it, she ran and raved and took off, and then come to find out the nose is an inch and a half off the ground. Right. So, do, they, do they have a legal minimum where they're – You know, and, and this is – you know, me and Dave actually talked about it. It says next year or wherever you're at – Three inches for a junior drag for any car for a junior dragster in particular. Right. Yeah, and you I know a car a, rule or you know dragster rule for big cars is three inches. Three yeah, inches you could have taken a three inch block and probably hit fifty percent of nose cones on the juniors this past weekend. Is that right? You know, and the ones that were under two inches, they were they were definitely struggling flickering the lights a little bit. Yes. So, so we, Wayne, we're, 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 sorry, Gerard. Um, Catherine Mosier uh, is basically thanking you and Sue uh, that you guys, you know, wouldn't have been able to pull off a race like you did uh, without the management skills and people skills that you guys have. Uh, and they're very appreciative of the thank effort you, that you guys Yeah, but, you know, we also got to thank our sponsors, too. Uh, Micro Strategies was the title sponsor. Thank you to them for coming on for the Junior Dragster race. These kids are actually out of Junior Dragsters and approached us about sponsoring this race, which was awesome. Uh hope I don't forget anybody. We got Cross Racing Engines, Half Scale, uh, Z1 Performance, Portetry, and KB Performance. All great sponsors to help us put this program on. Excellent. Good job. Well, from what I hear everyone saying, uh, they can't wait for you to have the next one. Because of so, uh, good job from the LD LVD crew, as usual. Thank uh, you. Jerron, what were you going to say about Oh, no, it's okay. I, I did it for you. Yeah, pretty. Like, that's what happens when two people are twins, like me and Jerron. Yeah, we almost exactly. know what we're going to say. <laughs> Absolutely. Does, uh, does, Jenna, um, does Jenna have any sponsors she'd like? Yeah, to that's have? what I was going to say. It'll take her a minute to respond. But yeah. uh, Jenna, who helps you out? Uh, who sponsors you? Who, uh, who do you want to talk about with your program? Yeah, it's basically just <laughs> all me and my family. You know, all my links just have to go to them. Now, I want to know if your brothers actually help you, or is it just your mom and dad? Five, four, three, two, one. No, my brothers. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> My brothers do help me a lot. <laughs> they do. That's impressive. They, that family must like each other more than my family likes each other because my kids would be like throwing rocks at each other when you're trying to stage the car. <laughs> <laughs> Some good yeah, stuff. So, Chris, do, do we have anyone else coming on? We're, we're just more or less waiting on that one guest um, who said she might be on a little late. Casey. Yes. Well, um, I'm but we could kill with... a little bit of time by so Wayne, with the bracket finals coming to Lebanon Valley, will the bracket finals include for those that don't know the juniors or not? 
Uh, junior dragsters will not compete at the bracket finals, but junior street will. Excellent. Yeah. I think we need to have some more fun with this delay with Jenna because this is it's getting it's getting pretty cool. <laughs> we, should, we should have her talk about the car, the big car she's gonna drive and, and uh what she's looking forward to about that and how fast is it? I'm I'm trying to look like I watch her face and I'm trying to see like when she hears her name and then unmutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think when she hears her name and hears what we say, her cheeks turn red. Because <laughs> then she knows she has to talk. And go. <laughs> it's coming. There it is. See that? Yeah, look at You can tell now she's got to talk. So I'm going to be driving a dragster in. Yeah, where is that? Yeah. There it is. Someone's got to tell her that when she starts talking, to ignore everything that she hears after that. <laughs> Poor kid. She's looking around. She's looking around. But what in the world do I have? I what have I gotten myself into? And what am I supposed to do? We really are very simple people, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> She's going to be the only guest that'll never come back on. Yeah, yeah. Screw these guys. They're crazy. <laughs> and her brothers are going to beat you up, Pete. I'm glad I raised Division 47, so I'm good. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm going to have to put lock door locks on my car so they can't get at me. <laughs> hey, uh, Dayton, what kind of big car do you want to drive when it comes? Uh, Dragster. Dragster? I knew I liked that kid. I couldn't hear what he said. He said a dragster. A dragster, yeah. I got you. So I they actually want to give. They want to give Jasmine fits is what they want to do. If I heard him correctly, I think he said he wanted to be just like the flying airbrush. If that's, that's what he good. said. He'll, he'll probably end up putting a three package on me one day. So yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> he might get past the first round though. What are you going to do, Jaron? If that's the case. Yeah, listen. You know you got an issue when Chris is making fun of you. <laughs> Mr. I ran Street Eliminator for two years and said... Uh, yeah, is right. <laughs> this is, Chris said, this is too easy. I don't, need to, I don't need to move up and keep beating everybody. I'll just stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, I got to get my... two rounds I won in two years. <laughs> so, well, Wayne, uh, what big events do you have coming up in the next couple of weeks? Oh, we got a great weekend coming up this weekend. We're tomorrow. We're actually running a Mac O'Toole charity uh, track rental. We got drifting going on tomorrow. Uh, nice. We got All Star Saturday and Sunday. We got bikes in the valley this Saturday. Uh, we have two points left races left this season. Uh, Sunday's two thousand to win from climate uh, heating. In, or actually, I'm sorry. Uh, it's Rick Lorenz. Uh, sorry, Rick Olo Blank. Uh, I know they merged with another company now. Uh, it was climate control and four season mer merged together. Uh, Lorenz United, I'm sorry, Lorenz United. So that's 2000 to win. So this weekend's going to be crazy. The news is Wayne, only about three people watch the show, so he probably won't screw it yeah, up. Yeah, no, nah, Rick probably won't either. He, you know, he probably forgot to turn his alarm clock on or something. <laughs> you know, we're hoping, to, I mean, this past Sunday, we had 306 race cars on Sunday. I mean, wow. that that's a busy day. And that's what we've been averaging, you know, upper. 200s to 300 cars per average Sunday. So, like I said, we got two points races left for race of the year, and we go right into our Muscle Mania Labor Day weekend, followed by uh, Scotty and Ralph's Big Tire or uh, No Rules, No No Time, No Rules on yep. uh, the 10th and the 11th. Then we go into the Dover Reunion Race, the bracket finals, Mopars at the Valley. Uh, September and October go with some big races at, up, for up north. Yes. Now the week the week before Labor Day, um, I believe you have a two day Super Street race coming up. Uh, sure. It, it probably is. I know yeah. we do have them on the schedule at some point. I don't remember exactly what the, what they're coming up. I think it's twenty eighth, twenty uh, ninth. It probably is. That's probably the follow. Yeah, the last weekend yeah. in uh, October. Yeah. I, uh, I'm just August curious uh, if by any chance you know how who has the bounty on them for that Saturday race. I do not know. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll give you a hint. Oh, who? who? Who won the last race? Who? Some, I can't see. Stand up. 
Yeah. Some guy fell into the window. I'm scared to that point. This is all you're getting. <laughs> He's on a ladder, Wayne. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. I got. Hey, I had I'm no taller than red light against me, so I got lucky. Oh, that's right. <laughs> hey, Wayne. Let me let me ask Is you. What's already frozen up except for me? Uh, no. Everybody's good except for you. <clears throat> so, Wayne, let me ask you. What's your your guys' big race, or you know, a race that that you that you know, like a funny car race or jet cars. Do you have anything like that 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 you know you, you that you look forward to every year that brings in the the crowd? Yeah, well, two weeks ago we ran our New York Jet Wars. Okay. Uh, we've kind of struggled with jet car shows at Lebanon Valley the past couple of years. Uh, it doesn't seem to be drawing the crowd like it used to. Uh, you know, some of our bigger events like the Dover Union Race, which, which got nostalgia funny cars and front engine dragsters, that does very well for us. Uh, That's what I was also. Doing. The import face-off is a huge event for us too. We're running two of that, two of those events this year. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask you. I heard you say something about that uh, reunion. What? What? How many classes do you have there? Uh, there's seven classes. Uh, basically, it's it's like a bit. It's the old Dover drag strip in Wingale, New York, that uh, closed back in 1976, I believe it was. Wow. So okay. the Dino Lawrence does like a reunion. I guess you can't technically call it a reunion. It was like a race to remember that racetrack because he was an announcer back then. And yeah, now, I know. It's a great event. Yeah, a lot of people don't know who Dino is uh, in his other life, I should say, but he's a he's a custom painter uh, down in North Carolina. Yes. yes. Yep. But he's originally from the New York area, I believe, and did some Yes, he is, yeah. There. Yep, yep. Yeah, now he's he down in, there. I believe, South Carolina. Yep. Yeah. So, yep. so at that race, you guys have like some of the uh, – Outlaw Super Stalkers or, or Nostalgia Super Stalkers? Yeah, all like the vintage that. stuff, pre-1976. You know, uh, he brings, like I said, he brings in blowing all thirds, funny cars and front engine dragsters. and Cool. And and how, how can people kind of learn about that race on you guys' website? Or do you have a... Uh, uh, you can go you go right on uh, Dover, the Dover, Dover Nostalgia Drags right on Facebook, or he has a website too, and he sells apparel and all his racing. He, he's one of those guys, when, when he leaves my racetrack that Sunday night, I don't think he's 20 minutes on the road and he's calling me and saying, Hey Wayne, this is what I want to do for next year. And it doesn't That's stop. Good. It's, That's good. That's good. you know, it's every weekend. Hey, we're going to do this next year. We're going to do this. I'm like, you know, I got 200 races before yours. I'm, I'm yeah. chill, you know, yeah. but that, that's one guy that promotes a race that I've never seen before. So where can people learn about, you know, more about Lebanon Valley Speedway? Like, uh, are you guys on social media, Instagram, uh, any of that stuff so we can, you know, get, you know, want to get the word out about your yeah so, so the dragway i mean we got our facebook page we have our our website which is probably i believe was one of the first websites to go uh online because we hold the it's www.dragway.com uh vincent barletta started that when he took over the track in the early 90s and started the uh uh, go racing.com program and we we're okay. one of the first tracks to have a actually web page website so uh that's pretty cool. Yeah, I have to stick that in the stick that in the archives. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anybody who goes and puts in a WW Dragway, I mean, Lebanon Valley is going to come up first. We're the original Dragway uh, online. Yes, I remember when he did that, and we were like, "What is a website? What's the internet?" Yeah, yeah exactly. We were on that that AOL dial up. It would you know play a squeaky song before you connected, and yeah, that was. <laughs> It was, I think he was literally the first drag strip with a website. It was, it was, cool. it was. Yep. So, uh, just talk to the kids again, Dayton, did you, uh, or Jenna, did you guys go to the Eastern conference finals in Bristol this year? He unmuted, but I didn't hear him. I think he was talking before he unmuted. Uh, there he is. Know. Oh, you didn't go to Bristol? Okay. Is that a race you're going to try to try to attend next year? We want to do every race. <laughs> I like that. That's every right. Race. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> We're not going to school. We're not going to work. We're going to race. And I like that's the right. way you guys think. That's what I'm talking about. There's, a, there's the problem, Mom. How are you, Mom? I'm doing great. We would awesome. love for him to race as much as he can. This is his dream. So 
That's good. Follow it. I like it. You know, it's all about the almighty dollar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, we all we all understand that. It's tough. It's tough for sure. But you're you guys are headed in the right direction. Got a got a good driver. Yeah, and he's got a good stepdad that's behind him to help work out any kinks, huh? And, and Jenna, so, has, Jenna has brothers that, that are going to throw her down the track, and uh, I'm sure she's going to turn on wind lights and win championships just like them. You know, I have to say, you know, we said thank you earlier to Wayne and Suzanne and everybody, but without the help from the family, the teammates, his teammates, we had a lot of parents and family members helping us this year. You know, that told us Jenna's family, you know, the Bakers, the Wheelers, the Eckerts, they all chipped in and, you know, told us what to do with the car, how to help him. So it's a big family there. Awesome. That is, that is one thing I've noticed over the years about the junior races is that it's a lot more help with, with everybody. All the families, all the racers will help each other. Not that Pete won't help another guy, but you see it <laughs> in the junior ranks. So that's that's good. It's yep. uh, cause it's, it's for the kids, obviously. It is definitely. And Pete, I just realized you're local, so we're gonna come after you. <laughs> well, yeah, it was yeah. funny because when you said pool and patio, I'm like, wait a minute, we have a pool and patio. It's yeah, like right down the street from it. The store. Yep. I'm the oh, no manager there. Yep. Well, if it makes you feel any better, we buy all our pool chemicals there. So that's awesome. Glad to hear. Good stuff. Uh, and Dayton, Dayton, when you move into Dayton, when you move into Super Street, I'm going to help you beat Pete. Don't worry, I, I know. No, it's stay out of Super Street. You're not welcome. <laughs> and we're we're not worried about Jenna's definitely going to beat you in Super Street. That she's already got a head start. She's got some some tactical plans for you already. Yeah, I don't doubt there. So everybody's frozen. <laughs> All right, so, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask Jenna to, to talk about her racing program just a little bit, but we're going to shut up and not take any. Can you hear me? Pete's frozen. Wayne, are you still there? I'm here. What about Chris? Are you still there? I think we lost Chris and Pete. Lost Chris and Pete. All right. Well, <laughs> I wanted to give Jenna a, a chance to talk about her future plans a little bit more in depth. I think we got uh, the the uh, delay kind of messed her up a little bit. But Jenna, tell us about what your, what your future plans for this year racing and uh, just – you haven't had a chance to really talk about what you what you're doing, so we're going to be quiet and let you let you tell us about more. So my junior career is coming to an end soon. I'm going to be 16 at the end of next year, and then I'm going to be in a dragster, probably in Super Pro in two years and we'll just see how it goes from there i might get in a mustang see how the dragster goes you know that's good that's good i like it i like it so yeah you, you definitely got to get in a mustang and, and uh race pete uh but uh the dragster would be fun um get up to uh, are you from uh lebanon valley area do you, do you race lebanon valley <laughs> yeah, I've been at Lebanon Valley since I was a baby, and I've raced there since I was eight, so. Yeah, I've been at Lebanon Valley since I was a baby, and I've raced well, there since I was eight. Well, we know Wayne will take good care of you. Wayne, I, I, one, I'm one. i sorry I've never been to your track. I've been to about almost 70 racetracks, but, and raced in Division One all my life. Now I race in, in Division Seven. But uh, Lebanon Valley has always been a bucket list track. Just, uh, you know, when it came time to do to go, maybe it was a weather thing, maybe it was a points thing, but uh, I definitely want to come up and, and race your track one day. Yeah, definitely. Welcome. Come up anytime. 
Yeah, I've seen it's it's one of the cooler tracks I've seen that has a, a return road in front of the stand, so that's cool. There's yeah. so many tracks that don't have that, so that's that's uh, you know, you get to see the cars up and up up close and personal. It's pretty cool. Now, yeah, the, the track's unique in some ways. It's uh, it's got good and bad. Uh, it's a one-sided track because obviously on the right-hand side of the track there's the river, so there's nobody oh. on that side of the track, so it makes it very difficult. You know, the pits all on one side, the racers are all on one side, the fans are all on one side. Uh, wow. There's only one thing on the other side, and that's the snakes in the river, and nobody goes over there. <laughs> wow, I did not know that. So tell us a little bit of history about the track. Like, how, how long has it been around? When did it open? And things like that. So the track has been uh, owned by the same family since it was started back in 1956. Uh, wow. It started out as a dirt speedway, and then two years later, they put the drag strip addition in. Uh, it's been in a commander family the whole time. Uh, for a brief period, uh, Vincent Barletta did a lease deal on it and did some uh, major improvements to the facility. And then uh, the commander family bought the, the lease back from the Barlettas at when, once Vincent had passed away. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a track that is never going to leave that family. Uh, I good. don't see him ever selling it. He's had off offers on it and sure. it's not a bad money. It's just, it's in his blood and it's in his family's blood. And I don't think you'll ever see it change hands. Yeah, that's good. So is the, I know, like I said, I've never been there, but I've obviously seen video and, and heard about it. There's a, a circle track there too. Is that part of uh, the same family ownership or is that? Yes, yes. The whole property is owned by, you know, the commander family. There's a high bank okay. clay oval track. Uh, we have uh, a go-karting track that runs on Friday nights that runs a series uh, so it's a multi-level facility. We just got into mud bogs this year. Uh, did a little bit of uh, tractor pulls this year. We do World of Outlaws there, even destruction. Uh, so it's it, it's definitely uh, it's a multi-use facility. And uh, you guys you know, do it, drifting stay that too. Way. Oh, we do drifting too. Yep, yep. We do drifting in the park. That's coming up tomorrow night. Uh, so it's there's definitely a lot of events that happen there throughout the season. Uh, and you can, there's always something to do. I mean, if you go to Lebanon Valley, there's nothing to do. There, there's a problem, definitely. <laughs> I, think a, I think a lot of junior parents will even say that. I mean, you look at Friday night, we got done racing that race, and we had a pizza party in the clubhouse. We had the practice tree up there, sponsored by KB Performance. Uh, we had pizza. We had practice tree racing. The go-karts were running out front for the kids to play on anybody. You had the circuit go-karts in the back going on. So there was plenty to do at wow. all times at Lebanon Valley. Yeah, that's 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 good to know, and it's it's definitely good to know that the the, the ownership has a has a seat in drag racing. It has a love affair that we won't use it. We won't lose it to the uh, junkyard families. If no, if, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> so no, that's good. So 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 you have the reunion race. You have uh, the jet car, and then you have a, a Lucas Oil race. Has that already happened? I'm sorry. What race was that again? The, the, the Lucas Oil uh, Lucas Oil race, yeah, we had that back in June. Okay, so that was yep. June. Okay. Yeah, that was a regional event. Yep. Okay. Uh, very good turnout for that. Uh, I believe the car count ended up around 515. Wow, that's good. Okay. Which, which wow. is good. You know, we, we actually have a very strong regional event that we run at Lebanon Valley. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, like I said, it's definitely been a, a, a good, I've heard about that race for, for many years, so that's cool. Um do you have any big buck bracket races, any of the, the high dollar stuff? You know, we, we tried running the big dollar bracket races and it, they just they just don't go off the good. For some reason, there's like I said, there's that borderline somewhere from like the Tappan Sea Bridge down. The guys down in the lower New Jersey, Pennsylvania area got plenty of big money bracket races for them. For them yeah. to make that four and a half hour trip across the bridge, they don't come over. And we've tried it and it just it doesn't pull the numbers like it should. But yeah. we are probably the biggest bracket racing track in Division One, without a doubt. Sure. Okay. Well, that's, that's good to know. So you, you have a definite weekly program that's, like you said, I think it's what, two grand, twenty five hundred, something like that, every every weekend. Uh, this this week's two thousand. Our normal our normal pay uh, for winning in pro is a thousand. Super Pro pays fifteen hundred guaranteed. This weekend is a sponsored event uh, that pays two thousand each class. So you know, but we. We, we average, you know, 90 cars in super, you know, this past yeah, weekend we were 106 in pro and that's, that's becoming a weekly average for us at this point. That's good. That's good. You yeah. have a, a, a good local program. Cause that's, that's really what's, 
kind of missing nowadays. I think that just my opinion, but a lot of the big buck bracket races, the hundred grand is the three hundred. So what are pulling from local programs, you know, where guys can't afford to run boats or whatever. So that's mm-hmm. good to have a, have a good, uh, support system from your, you know, from your locals. Yes. Hey so guys, we have uh, one of our, our later rivals here, of course, that's I'm what talking I was about say. Cassie Dime. Is it Cassie or Casey? It's Cassie. Cassie. All right. Hey. Cassie I'm so Dime. sorry about that. My class was supposed to end at 7.20. It ended at 7.49. That's okay. I'm so sorry. I still owe you a t-shirt, so don't worry about it. It all it all balances out. Yeah. I was like, just let me out of here. Stop talking. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so let's let's talk about your weekend a little bit. How how did things go for you last week? Um, I made quarterfinals in the divisional race and then again, quarterfinals in the Sunday points race. Good stuff. Sounds like she might've met up with Dayton there one of those, one of those days because he quartered finals and semi did one of those races. Did you guys race? Uh, no, we were in different brackets. I was in the 15 to 17 and I don't remember. Uh, I think it was 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Yeah. Right? Gotcha. Okay. All right. That's that's my fault. I'll be quiet from now on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to paint, <laughs> Jura. Yeah. There you go, Cassie. <laughs> let me introduce you very quickly to our. This is one of our partners on the show, Jaron Settles. He's a national level super comp racer. He's looking for a crew chief. So if you ever need a job as a crew chief or if, or a sub driver, he you got to talk to him. I'll probably just put her in the seat. She'd probably do better than me anyway. So. <laughs> Uh, depends on what you look at. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cassie, how was your experience with the whole weekend? Did you love it? Um, yeah, there was definitely a little room for improvement just because of, I feel like it was a little clustered and not as organized as I've seen it in the past. But overall, it, it was honestly a great time. You guys had good weather and that all cooperated. So that was a good thing. <laughs> that was a major thing. Yeah. We finally got a weekend that we could race. So am I right in saying, have you made some passes in your dad's truck? Yes. I haven't yeah. gone over, like, I think the fastest pass I made was 18 seconds. And that's a <laughs> nine-second truck. So that's all right. I'm getting there. You got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. I might be in it maybe the end of this month, maybe next month. I'm not really sure. It just Excellent. depends on school and work for me. Excellent. And what uh, what's your dream class? If someone said right now you could drive anything you want, what would it be? That's kind of tough because I have a few that I would really love to do, but I'd have to, I feel like I'd have to be in them first in order to finally make the decision. But like my top three are top dragster, <laughs> ironically also top sportsman, and super cop. Hey. That's what Jaron runs, so he's happy to hear that. As long as you don't line up against him, uh, it'll be easy. Way for this. <laughs> who, uh, who are the big parts of your race team, Cassie? You got any uh, sponsors or anything? Actually, yeah, I do. Um, one of my biggest sponsors, I don't know who here knows him, but Robert Danboys, he's also known as Mopar Bob. He drives okay. around with the new Dodge the 2020 Dodge Dart, white, bright white. You can see it a mile away. Yep. Well, now we know it. has been sponsoring me for two years now, I believe. And he also, he bought my new slicks that are on the back of my junior right now, two years ago. He helped pay for the stickers that are on the car. And he's also the reason why I redesigned the car for my last year. That's where I got my inspiration from. Awesome. Good and, stuff. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. That's cool. Excellent. How about Good it, Wayne? Stuff. You got a question for Cassie? Yeah. What was that? Sorry. Oh, I think I think Wayne's frozen. Uh-oh. It's like we're all we're all taking turns freezing up over here. I, I think there we go. I, think, I, think uh, I, I blame the, the Moose Brook Hotel Wi-Fi. So, go ahead, I don't know what you said, but sure. 
<laughs> I don't know what he said either. <laughs> Kelsey, what would be your what would be your choice for a top sportsman car? Um, honestly, probably a Camaro, like a late gen Camaro. Yeah, they do make beautiful top sportsman cars. Just a little disappointed you, know, you didn't say Vega wagon, but I well, guess I'll go for it. I was gonna say as long as you don't pick a Vega wagon, we're good. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad choice. I uh, say that now you're talking English. my language. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wayne. Now that you're not frozen, you got a question for Cassie? I do. Okay. No, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean Cassie's a great kid. I mean, she's she's a very energetic teenager, uh, always smiling. Uh, when you're down, she'll make you laugh. She's a good kid, and she's fun to be around. I think a lot of kids who hang out in the pits with her on, during the nights, they enjoy her. She's a great person to hang around with, always smiling, bubbling, laughing. More kids should be like Cassie. That is not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. You must take after your father. <laughs> oh, mom's right there. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm kind of like in Dayton because he's kind of just like just like business he's like I'm just here to race I'm not here to make friends you know I'm here to race and then Jenna, <laughs> that's right Jenna is there to like have her brothers kick everybody's butt and just take take the trophy so I like those two but no Cassie you're good I'm just messing with you <laughs> So, Cassie, let, let's do this. Why don't you ask Pete a question about his racing? It's, you know, it's pretty good tough Lord. to get service in space. Though, yeah. yeah, that's what I was going. He's out of his planet or something. <laughs> so I think, I think Chris said something about you asking me uh, something about a car or something. I'm not quite sure. Ask him how tall he is, Cassie. Um, I know he's not tall. much taller than me. <laughs> and I'm 5'1". She's seen me. She knows I'm a little guy. She, she looks down on you pretty much. Yeah, I got, I got you. Just the fact that I drive a Vega tells you that I'm not 6'2". <laughs> or 5'2". <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> I, I want you to know I went to the doctors the other day and they said I was five, five and a half. Okay, so you are taller than me. Yeah. I okay. had my platform shoes on. That, that, was, that, was, with, that was with heels. <laughs> that was with heels. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So, Cassie, do you help out your dad when he beats me in Super Street? Uh -oh. Uh oh, dad's there. Is that there? I was just disappearing. Sorry. <laughs> the last time we raced, I believe he handed it to me on a silver platter. <laughs> and I was wondering if I was wondering if you were the one that dialed his car or not, so I know to distract you the next time we race. <laughs> I know nothing about this situation. <laughs> I'm not going to answer to it. <laughs> wow, I like it. I like it. Clipping Plan the safe fruit. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty I know cool. nothing. I saw nothing. I heard nothing. <laughs> that's a, that's a racer right there, Pete. She ain't giving away no secrets. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Just stay Good out stuff. of South Carolina and Top Dragster, too. Pick another class because I'm going to run Top Dragster next year. <laughs> I don't like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, come on, man. We'll be fine. We need more people in, in both of those classes. All right. Can you guys hear me now? Uh, did you did you come back into orbit? I think so. Yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little skittish, Chris. I feel bad for Jenna because I feel like she wants to talk a lot, but she uh, doesn't. No, that's what, well, I got her to talk <laughs> a little bit more. Well, while well, you were frozen. <laughs> wait, that was pretty creative. I like it. Oh, wait a minute. Who's that? Someone just peeked in. You didn't see it. I'll do it again. Here you go, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was my brother. Uh... <laughs> I thought I recognized him. 
Pete, how could you how could you recognize him? You've only seen him with the glow of his windlight off of his car, off the side of his car. That's actually not true. After he beats me, he comes to shake my hand, and wow. I see him about all the racing gear on. He feels sorry for you. That's cool. Exactly. Yeah. Brings me a bottle of water so I could cry into it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Dayton, I see you have like a gamer chair there. Are you a gamer? He's got to unmute. Not really. What, what was that? No, uh, not really. I like to. But okay. What, game, what games do you play? Uh, I've been practicing my poetry. Practicing, practicing poetry? Is that what you said? No, <laughs> On the poetry. Poetry. <laughs> poetry. Uh, I don't know. Poetry. I did, Wayne. Wayne, do you have any openings for Monday nights to be the guest speaker on Racers News Network? We're looking to replace somebody. Oh, man. I couldn't hear. I couldn't I'll have, hear. To, I'll have to sharpen up on my poetry. Poetry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's maybe, great. Well, look, maybe, that's, maybe that's why I can't win around because instead of practicing on the portetry, I'm practicing my poetry. So, whatever. Yeah. It Roses are red, violets are blue. Like me I when my wind light doesn't come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Enough. Of, enough about me. Back to Chris out in space. <laughs> can you hear me now? Uh, I, the aliens can, but we can barely hear you. So what I would like to do is, uh, the weekend of the two-day Super Street race. Uh, if you guys, Dayton, Jenna, uh, Casey, Cassie. Uh, if you guys are there, I'd like you guys to come over to the trailer at some point in the weekend because uh, we'll have a little uh, gift for you for being on the show. Uh, so try and stop by at some point during those two days so we can hook you guys up. And Wayne, they're all kid size, so you'll fit in one too, so you could stop by. Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where I'm going to be parked for this event. <laughs> no problem. On the side with the snakes There's in the room. No river. such thing as a red light button up in the tower. Yeah. No yeah. such thing. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's going to wind up doing that anyway. What the hell is the <laughs> difference? <laughs> you won't even have to use that on me. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Well, this is better. Uh, uh, you guys were definitely good. rock stars. We appreciate you coming on. Uh, Wayne, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your input. We're glad you guys had a good weekend. And uh, we're looking forward to finishing out the year strong with good weather. And uh, that's about a wrap. Chris, thanks for coming in from Pluto. And uh, Jenna's brother, thank you for eating upside down on camera. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, Dayton, Cassie, and Jenna, hope you have a a rest a good winning season the rest of the year and uh most of all just have some fun because that's what it's all about having fun absolutely yep. don't be like us cranky adults when we can't win keep smiling that's it <laughs> thank you all right uh, guys for thanks, thanks for coming on and don't forget come see me over at the track when you guys are there okay we will Hopefully okay. Wayne doesn't park me in the middle of the circle track, so you'll be able to find me. It's okay. We'll just hop the fence. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Right, everybody, have a good night. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye.
All right, everybody, have a great week. If you're racing this weekend, best of luck, stay safe, and we'll be back Monday.